So I was watching uh, Sharon makeup artist here on YouTube yesterday or the day before, and she did some kind of a taupey, taupey look after she lined the eyes. But she lined them, I think, a little bit stronger than me, and uh, yeah, like the borderline and everything. I'm a little bit, my mice are a little bit sensitive to those things, so but it does look different if you line them. So I tried to do it today, and uh, yeah. So a taupey Starting kind of like smoke. usual. I did primer. Get line, it's starting to be really hard to get anything out from here. It's like you really have to go in there with the brush. I'm taking these two Maybelline gel liners and a brush like this and going kind of around like this a bit. Get a nice color like that. Kind of smudging in a tiny bit. Just make it a bit softer and it's not, you know, too obvious what it is. And I suppose I will go a little bit under the eye as well. I'm putting it slightly in the waterline too, but not a, a big thing, you know, just a tiny bit. Like that. Again, both black and brown together. Continuing just with a compact powder from MAC on the brow bone. Now I'm taking this uh, top color from Guerlain with a brush like this. Just shade in there. And starting from here. I think the liner from, from here disappeared too much, so I'm taking a little bit more just of the black one so that it won't be too brown and, um, you know, my eyes become red looking like that. So I'm just smudging in a little bit more of the black one. And I will make sure that I smudge it in because, yeah, that's part of the deal, I suppose, that it looks smudged in. I just need it to be a bit darker. Something a little bit brighter for the inner corner. So I'm grabbing this... Um, White one from uh, this Dior palette in Incognito, it's in number 30. Just this really light one. I will mix those two together, actually. And that it won't be too white either. Just like that. So I want it to be kind of a really, a little bit more. Just with the light right. one to get it a little bit like really, to brighten it up a bit more. Something like that. And blend it out a bit with the other brush. I decided to take this one from here. It's like a taupey color, just for this part. And I'm clean, I cleaned up this one a little bit and it's stained, but it doesn't, you know, it's not like it's leaving a lot of color of it. So just here a bit. So my eyes don't really like these gels in the waterline, I can feel, but, well, I did put it there, so, you know. Do you hear that? Those birds? This is just Maybelline Brow Drama, kind of trying to, they start to look a bit wild, I think, my brows. I just thought it wasn't, you know, dark enough, so I took this uh, Hypnotic from uh, Dior, color like this, and I just dabbed it in like this. I'm taking the same dual color down here too, but even if there's shimmer in it, you know, but it's anyway, it's so dark that it doesn't become like a, a real shimmery look or something like that. Yeah. And that's going to have to be it for the eyes today, I believe. For under eye concealer, I'm using up this Sisley one. And I'm taking also this uh, Magic Lumi from, from L'Oreal. The more pinky one, I'm blending them together in this little container. So since these, uh, both of these under eye concealers or brighteners, whatever you want to call them, they both are like uh, the kind that wants to settle like to a sticky kind of finish. So I'm straightly setting it with this MAC powder, just a bit. Brushing 
over like that that you won't have the chance to start setting into a sticky kind of you know in the lines in a sticky way and you you cannot you know go and dab it in or something like that because it's not creamy it just becomes sticky and both of them are the same so I hope this was enough because I really just swiped it over like really lightly that I won't have you know also like too much powder over there so I'm using number three and four from this uh, uh, Givenchy long uh, lasting long wearing fun, uh, fluid foundation and it's excellent when it starts to be hot and everything just wants to melt off so yeah I will just use this uh, Dior brush to put it on a bit and then of course a uh, damp sponge but first I'm using this uh, moisturizing uh, primer from Smashbox yeah a good uh, Those are the two the colors there's a one. big difference between three and four so yeah very big difference kind of smoothing it on and I'm gonna go over this um, foundation one more time with both colors then I'm taking the light one a bit and this uh, Shiseido in number six like that also like kind of a they're kind of small the pumps that you get from those I feel so yeah so I'm blending these two together and I'm adding them here where I'm extra red and I'm doing this so I will keep kind of the as much as possible from the look and the texture of this foundation which I love but a little bit more coverage from the of course from the concealer and I'm using this uh, number three in the Shivanshi powders to set it a bit because just where I put you know both together the um, concealer and the foundation together if it's just this foundation in now in the summertime I really don't need to set it even since my skin is uh, tends to be drier but only here where I added just the concealer together with it here I don't need to do anything of course I didn't put it more than one time even but it's completely like ooh, you don't need to touch it with anything here I will just push in a little bit powder and hope it's not too much of that forgot earlier to put this Elizabeth Arden 15 SPF on and my, my skin on the you know it's uh, are getting dry altogether because of all the air conditioning and all this but my lips especially are dry so yeah but now something on the cheeks right so I'm using this uh, kind of bronzer blush from uh, Gela. it came out two or three summers ago kind of a strong scent to it but it this one disappears also the scent in those disappear after a while but this one was uh, a limited edition the Emilio Pucci or something like this I'm taking this rose diamond from um, from Dior uh, just as a little slight highlight and you know all the colors like that just because these there's kind of like a reddish color in those I feel like a pinkish color in the in the first taupe that I put yeah so I'm taking some of this just to you know they won't be too big of a difference from everything plus I love this uh, the tone this one has like it's a really pretty mix of pinks for a highlighter but to begin with I'm taking this uh, orange um, lip liner from Shiseido like that and I feel like using this one from the organ. It's the one that's really corally and coral like uh, you know, like this. And it's from this um, hybrid lip gloss uh, lip uh, stick thing. I don't want to put too much. Maybe that's enough already. Let's say that's enough. And I just want to leave it like a stain kind of thing like that and not too glossy and all over the place. Then it's kind of really a soft, I think it's a soft coral, not, you know, if you add it like this, just a little bit and blot it, it becomes, you know, nothing like this. And it's, I still have a dry spot over there. 
it becomes kind of really subtle and nice like that for a you know simple look why not I think that will be it for today for the face and uh, yeah kind of a smoky taupey look and I got this uh, inspiration from uh, Sharon makeup artist here on YouTube she did something uh, a little bit similar and uh, yeah so hope you have a really good week thanks again for watching and use all your colors too and enjoy them one more thing I have to say this um, Givenchy long wearing uh, foundation especially when I can just use the same foundation and this um, especially this one seemed to work really well the Shiseido con concealer which is very covering a little bit of those two together and you know it really stays on and looks good enough for quite a few hours I didn't check for how long it really stays good but now I did powder just you know in those places where I added both two toge both of them together but I'm really happy with the way it feels and the way it looks like uh, kind of natural and not heavy at all yeah so if you didn't try this one if you're still looking for a foundation then go and ask for a sample I think um, yeah the only thing you might have to you know to put two of them together like I do to get a matching color but that's with most foundations I believe yeah so why not try it out if you're looking for something for summer that will stay on and still you know look uh, light enough because it's not like we can all of us go with a BB cream and have you know our skin shine through if I have something like that on I will the redness will shine through and I don't want that not in the winter, not in the summer, why should I want that? Plus, if you have something more covering, it gives more protection. That's just what I think, yeah. And also, of course, if you have a sunscreen under, you need to have sunscreen under and then, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, so I don't want my skin to show true and shine true in any weather, in any, you know, season. <laughs> but this one really feels so light and, you know, still covering enough I think I put it on twice yeah I put it on twice but you know kind of light strokes with the brush and then the damp sponge and then just covering the, the special you know areas where it's really like easily rubbing off and easily getting red looking again yeah so I'm really happy with it at least have a really good